morning, everybody. If you want to follow along today, we will be in the uh, fifth chapter of the book of Acts. And I hadn't asked you to do this lately, but if you would like and share the post, I'd really appreciate it um, or even dislike it. Any, <laughs> believe it or not, uh, if you anything you do, like, dislike, comment, share, all of those things go into uh, Facebook, YouTube's um, algorithms and cause them to uh, put the video uh, in front of more people, even dislikes. So uh, I guess dislike says it gets a reaction, so they will uh, push the video even for that. So uh, either way, I'd prefer you check the like, but um, I said if you just uh, one of those, let us know you're here. All right, Acts chapter 5. We looked at the beginning of this story uh, with Ananias and Sapphira yesterday. And uh, how they had sold a piece of property and brought the money in, pretended uh, to give all of the profit to the church while holding some of it back. Now we see the consequences. Uh, Ananias, hearing these words, the words of Peter, when uh, Peter said to him, you know, why, you know, could you have done whatever you want to do with the land? You could have done whatever you want to do with the money. You chose these actions. When he heard these words, he fell down, gave up the ghost, and great fear came upon all them that heard these things. And the young men rose, wound him up, carried him out, and buried him. It was about the space of three hours after when his wife, not knowing what was done, came in. Uh, and so uh, we see now uh, the consequences uh, of, uh, of, those, uh, of those sin, uh, of what uh, had happened here uh, with Ananias. A couple of things, and we're, we're going to look at Sapphira tomorrow. Uh, we're going to break this apart, uh, again, maybe in more detail than you want to go, um, but um, just um, uh, I think there's some important lessons here uh, in, uh, in, in this story. And so the first thing that we see is then the consequences uh, of his actions. And again, holding back the money was, was not the sin. Um, again, Peter said it. You could have done whatever you wanted to with the land. You could have done whatever you wanted to with the money. The problem is when you came in and you lied about what you did. And notice then what happens with Ananias. Peter himself does not say a word. Um, Peter does not pronounce judgment on uh, on Ananias. He simply points out the sin. The judgment here, uh, what happens is strictly uh, the result of God's judgment. It doesn't say Peter uh, ran him through with the sword or they took him out and hung him. Peter just simply pointed out the sin and said, you did what you, you made this decision. You lied uh, not to man, but you lied to God. And when he did, um, he um, he falls over dead. So first of all, it's important to notice it doesn't matter man's opinion. Peter just pointed it out. God was the one who brought the judgment. Um, we see uh, the danger of, uh, of holding back uh, from God. Uh, I think of not giving our, uh, our not, not even giving our best. Uh, if it's our turn to sing, um, not practicing. If it's our turn to, if we're supposed to preach, not studying. Um, just, just holding back, not giving to God. Uh, you know, cause we're, we're told in Scripture to deny ourselves and come after Him. Uh, and so, uh, we, again, we see Christ. Christ gave everything. Uh, he gave His all. He gave His very life. And so, the danger uh, of uh, of holding uh, holding back and not giving God uh, everything. Uh, another lesson from this story is the reminder that God knows our heart. Um, nobody else in that room uh, knew. The only reason Peter knew uh, was because God had uh, revealed uh, these actions to him. And uh, notice what Peter says to him. Peter says, Satan filled your heart. Uh, he says, you've lied uh, to the Holy Spirit. And you haven't lied to man, but you lied to God. Uh, and wh wh how did Peter know all those things? Only one way, because God revealed them. God knew uh, again. And so uh, we have to be, you know, very serious reminder that, you know, we can fool, you know, what is that saying? You can fool all the people some of the time, some of the people all the time. 
you can't ever fool God. Uh, God knows uh, our heart. Um, he knows uh, what uh, is uh, taking place uh, in us, what we're thinking, what our motivations are, um, you know, why we do what we do, why we, what we didn't do. All of those things are evident to God. Those are sobering thoughts for us this morning. Uh, think about that as you go through this day. Um, man may be fooled, but God knows our heart. Have a good day. Have a good fourth. I uh, hope to see you here tomorrow morning.